Hello, Happiness Abounder, and welcome back. Today, I'm excited to discuss with you the STOP method for when it comes to cultivating positive thinking. And I know what you're thinking. STOP method connected with positive thinking makes it sound like I'm trying to tell you to stop thinking positively, and that is simply not the case. Instead, STOP stands for stop, <laughs> take a breath, observe, and proceed. So what that means in terms of positive thinking is, is that we need to be able to first be aware, right? We've talked about that the last few episodes, but be aware of the thinking that you are having. Is it negative? Is it positive? And then if it is negative, stop, right? Just go, wait, this is negative thinking and put that line in the sand and stop right there. Then what you want to do is take a breath. Because what we tend to do, what we want to do, is go, oh, I've been working so hard on thinking positively, and here I am thinking negatively, and I should be better, I should do better, and you start beating yourself up. And what does that turn into? More negative thinking. So what I want you to do is stop, which is our S, and then I want you to take, which is our T, a breath. So that negative thinking comes in, you recognize it, and you put that line in the sand and go, okay, stop. Then, big breath. Because that does a quick reset. Instead of instantly going down that path of more negativity that's shrouded in, I should be thinking positively, that breath allows you to, I could think positively. Then the O stands for observe. So you're going to stop, you're going to take a breath, and you're going to observe. Why did I start thinking that way? Is what I am thinking true? And that's a big one. And then you're going to go with P, which is proceed. And really, that's proceed with purpose, or in this case, intention as well, right? You're going to proceed in the way that you want to proceed versus continuing to let stuff be a roller coaster. Now, if you've listened to some episodes of about, I think a year ago, you may have heard this story, but it's a really good highlight of the stop method in my own life. So I'm going to share it here. Last year, maybe even longer than a year ago, my husband and I went on a double date. And in this double date, one of the individuals kept on making jokes and sarcastic remarks about my husband and him ditching his spouse and I to go do something that I didn't necessarily agree with. And I know that some of you listen to this podcast with your children or you watch it and your children are in the room. So I'm not going to say what the activity was, but it's a very typical male like party kind of activity. And it's not something I agree with. It's something my husband and I have had a lot of discussions around and have both come to an agreement that that's not something we are going to participate in. Now, the thing that really bothered me was that this individual knew this, knew that my husband and I had decided together that that was not something we wanted in our lives and not something that was even negotiable and quite frankly, a huge waste of money and time. And this person knew that and still continued several times throughout the night to make all of these jokes about my husband and I, or my husband and him leaving and his spouse and I like staying behind and doing whatever they didn't, he didn't care about that. So I was pretty irritable by the end of it and had a pretty sour taste in my mouth for this individual, not the couple per se, but just the individual like, dude, you know, you keep on making jokes about it. It's kind of ridiculous. Now I'd like to say that I was like, that's ridiculous. And that's totally on that person. Because of course, looking back, I can see that this person felt threatened, threatened by their life choices because my husband and I had made a very distinctive life choice that was different than this person. So in a way to make them feel himself feel more comfortable, he kept on trying to joke and wanting to push it like it was an okay thing. And in his life, it is okay, and that's completely fine. No judgment here. But I'd like to say that's the direction I went. But instead, the direction that I went was I started thinking very negatively about myself. I really started to go, wow, am I a bad wife? Because 
I forgot that my husband and I had decided this together and I was just, my head was reeling. So as we're driving home after this double date, my mind is just going in overload and overdrive of this negative thinking about how oh, I must be a terrible wife because I won't let my husband go do these things and, and won't being in air quotes because my husband had decided he's his own person and we had decided and communicated together that this is what we were going to do and or this is behavior we weren't going to do and but I forgot all that I just let all the negative seep, negativity seep in and tell me that I was a terrible spouse a terrible wife and that obviously all these other women all these other wives think it's okay for their husbands to go and do this and am I just being overly weird and uh, I'm just terrible and I'm saying that my husband can't go do things with his friends and I don't want to be that spouse blah 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 right so I'm just going on and on and on in my brain all these negative thoughts and then after about a good 20 minutes of driving I wish I could say it was almost immediate but it wasn't about a good 20 minutes of driving and me thinking through all this stuff I had to remember the stop method so then I went okay negative thinking happening here like crazy overload right now stop and sometimes even just saying stop to yourself is enough to, to jar you a bit because it's very rarely that we say stop to ourselves honestly it is so I say stop and then take a breath and then observe observe the facts the facts in this situation are that my husband and I decided these things together it was as much his decision as it was mine so it wasn't me being a bad or a mean or a restrictive spouse we decided this was this together and for the betterment of our relationship and our family. So that's observation number one. Observation number two, I was letting this person's choices dictate my feelings for myself and the self-talk I was having. I didn't want to do that either. So then, now that I've stopped, taken a breath, I've observed, who do I really want to be? Well, I want to be the kind of person that talks about this with my husband. Who totally called out like no this is a choice I have made as well you're not a bad spouse and all of that but then also proceed with the purpose and intention of if this was to happen again how would I behave differently I probably would still let that person make jokes but I certainly would go in with a lot more confidence in myself as well as a lot more confidence in my husband and not feel like this person's choices dictates our choices in our marriage and that right there alone would be enough to circumvent the negative thinking and cultivate positive thinking. So that's just one story and a little bit long, sorry, but that's just one story about the stop method and how you can use it to stop negative thinking in its tracks and move forward with positive thinking. But here's the thing, when you proceed, you can proceed with negative thoughts, but you are consciously making that choice instead of working off of ritual and habit. So, quick reminder again, it's the STOP method to cultivate positive thinking, and that stands for stop, take a breath, observe, and then proceed with purpose. So, S is stop, T, take a breath, O is observe, and P is proceed with purpose. So I'm going to leave you with that today. I hope that knowing this methodology, knowing this little acronym, can help you as it has helped me in those situations where the negative thinking just runs wild and I need to be able to stop, take a breath, observe, and then proceed with purpose. So I hope that this helps you to do the same. And if you like this episode, please remember to rate, review, and subscribe on your podcast listening platform of choice. It does help other people find the show and join our Happiness Abound community. So with that said, have a wonderful day. Remember to stop your negative thinking, and above everything else, remember, you are capable of happiness abound.